what is partial equilibrium and general equilibrium in economics? And the basic idea here is that partial equilibrium is what happens to one particular market when the supply and demand curves shift once. Like partial equilibrium is the normal Econ 101 supply and demand curve situation. General equilibrium is what are the broader long run effects of all of the markets related to that market as these markets adjust in response to this. And of course, one market adjusting might cause another market to adjust, and this whole process may take years and years and years because you may have new industries popping up as a result of this particular demand shift. And in the long run, once everything has adjusted in response to the one thing, that's general equilibrium. So that's the basic idea. Now, let me go through an example from healthcare economics, which is something that I teach. So 1965, they introduced Medicare, which gave health insurance to all people over 65. And of course, when that happened, the demand for doctor services went up. So an Econ 101 answer to what would have happened to the price and quantity of doctor services after Medicare was introduced, that would say, okay, there's going to be an increase in the price and an increase in quantity between, say, 1964 and 1965 after that uh, Medicare bill was introduced. Now, in, in the long run, of course, the long run, you're going to have uh, more doctor services available, more innovators are going to come up with products to sell to this new, newly insured market of people over 65 who have good insurance. You're going to have an expansion in the number of hospitals um, as a result of this. And so, of course, in the long run, the supply may actually shift out for doctor services. But it's not just doctor's visits, it's hospital visits, it's medical technologies, there's going to be innovative new products that come on the scene in response to this demand shift. So there's a whole bunch of adjustments that will happen in the long run. And that's how you get to general equilibrium. General equilibrium basically accounts for every single possible market whether it exists now or not, that could respond to this market uh, changing by introducing Medicare or to any other market that could pop up after Medicare is introduced to serve the new, newly insured population. So that's the difference. Partial equilibrium happens in one particular market after a specific shift has occurred, general equilibrium is the final all is said and done situation with every market that might be related to these changes.